Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads. And today I wanna give you an overview of what Advantage Plus means. It is all over your ads manager. It's Advantage Plus this, Advantage Plus that. It's also in a ton of different spots. So like, what does it mean? What do you do with it? Should you be using it, etc. Pros and cons. We're gonna go all over all of it today. So if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Sydney. I'm the founder of Vertex Marketing Agency. And on this channel, I give you tips and tricks about Facebook ads. We also offer coaching and consulting for Facebook ads, as well as a full done for you service. For, so if either of those kind of interest you, feel free to get in touch with us in the description below. So let's dive right in. I'm inside of a demo Facebook ad accounts right now. So essentially what Advantage Plus means is like recommended by Facebook. So we've talked a lot about going broad and doing automatic placements or not narrowing down so much on your targeting. And essentially Facebook has taken all of these different recommendations that they know to be true. And rather than just talking about it inside of articles and sending emails and hoping people make videos about it on YouTube, they've actually made these specific settings to recommend for you to choose. However, there are some pros and cons of when you would use them and when you wouldn't, so let's go over that. But essentially, Advantage Plus means something that Facebook recommends and then they give in setting. So let's go through every step here and, and see what we can do with each of them. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna press Create. I typically am using the Sales Campaign button, so we're gonna choose that one. We're gonna go Continue, and right away, we're hit with a Advantage Plus shopping campaign. Now, this is typically if you are connected to a Shopify store or WordPress, or if you actually have an e-commerce store. However, if you are a, a lead-based company and you're service-based, this might be a tailored leads campaign. And they actually behave in a very similar way as just that they had to like kind of name them different things. And you'll see right away, streamlined, tailored, best practice. If you've gone on YouTube and you've seen all these different people talking about recommendations, especially post iOS 14, they're taking all those different recommendations, putting them into this campaign and saying, hey, this is gonna be easier for you to run, um, so you should choose a setting. However, there are instances where you might wanna use a manual sales campaign. So why don't we open up the two and actually compare them side by side? So on the left side, I'm going to open up a Advantage Plus shopping campaign. And then on the right side, I'm going to open up manual sales campaign. Now, essentially what Facebook is trying to do is give you all the best recommendations all at once so that you don't have to choose them manually. I think it can be a little bit more user-friendly for someone who's just starting out, but considering there's so much data and videos on the manual setup, I don't know, I some kind of disagree. But right from the get-go, we have Advantage Plus shopping campaign, and you can see that the ad set and the campaign are actually inside of the same little box here. On the manual side, we have the campaign and then the ad set below. And you can see it just by the little folder and then the little like boxes over here. So that's the first difference that you're gonna notice is that the Advantage Plus shopping campaign combines your campaign settings and your ad set settings all in one, which means that you can only have one ad set per campaign in your Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. So if we just exit out of here real quick, we have Advantage Plus shopping campaign. If I go into it, you'll see it's actually the exact same name. I haven't renamed it, but let's just identify. This is the ad set and this is the campaign, but they're actually named the exact same thing. So your ad set and your campaign are now under all of the same settings. And you'll see that there's no option to duplicate. Whereas inside of our manual sales campaign, if I open that up, my ad set, I will then have the option to duplicate. In a manual setup, I can choose, well, now it's called Advantage Plus Budget, but before it used to be Campaign Budget Optimization versus Ad Set Budget Optimization, and now it's Advantage Plus Budget, right? Because that's kind of what Facebook recommends. They had said before that, you know, using CBO is better. It can help distribute things better. So they have put it all under one setting. So let's go back over here and we're gonna dive into the ad set slash campaign setting and we're gonna go back to the campaign settings inside of our manual setup. So they're telling us this is going to maximize performance and reach valuable customers with a simplified setup. Whereas here, we just have the direct options here. So we have the categories. We can definitely categorize our ads over here. We have the campaign details and what we're um, optimizing for. Um, on this side over here, this is obviously the campaign level. So on the um, campaign slash ad set level, we immediately go into the conversion location where on the manual side, that only happens in the ad set. So we have the performance goal and what we wanna choose here. 
and let's actually stop it right there because we do have more settings over here. So we have the option to choose a catalog at the campaign level. And then here we have advantage campaign budget. So that used to be CBO or campaign budget optimization, but this is something that they technically kind of recommend. And in this case, they've already pre applied it for that's already the way that it's going to be set up. So we can either choose to have the budget at the um, campaign level or at the ad set level. Now I kind of like to sometimes set the budget at the ad set level. So in this case, while having everything together can look simplified, if you have specific goals on what you want to use it for, I would say like maybe a more seasoned marketer, it might actually be more beneficial to create a manual sales campaign. Or even if you want a CBO, but you want multiple ad sets, um, either for different testing ad sets or for different audiences, if you're still using that method, then you can, then it might be more beneficial to actually choose a manual campaign. But now actually we're at the bottom here, so we can go to the ad set. And that's where you'll see a lot of the same settings apply. Let me go back up here, website and shop, website and shop, website, all the different locations, um, what pixel we're gonna choose, what we're actually optimizing for. So we're not actually gonna have any like real conversions here because um, it's a demo, but we have conversion event, conversion event. In this case, we choose the Facebook page at the ad set setting in our manual campaign. And over here, it's actually skipped over a lot of these settings because it already knows what you're trying to do with it. And it is bringing us to the cost per result goal, daily budget. And a lot of these settings are actually found in the campaign level. And then right away we have audience locations. You'll see that actually that looks a little bit different than our audience control over here. So they just look visually different a little bit, but it is actually recommending the advantage plus audience. So post iOS 14 with the lack of data, increased privacy, we have moved away very much from using specific interest targeting. Whereas in the past, it used to be very specific interest targeting, creative didn't really matter. Now it's actually more broad targeting and your creative really matters. So in this case, they're like, hey, we know this is the best uh, practice. So we're going to select this audience for you, but you do have the option to have your audience selection. And this is kind of what it, what it used to look like. But in this case, we actually don't have that option to have the manual setup. It actually chooses location where you're going to be advertising and they'll just show your ads to people in those countries. And if there's any places you shouldn't deliver to, we will avoid showing ads in these locations whenever possible. But you have to exclude these locations using audience controls and ad account settings. So you actually have to go to a different place to then choose who you want to exclude. And also if you want to maybe exclude your specific customers, um, or if you want to exclude like a certain neighborhood or a city, you have to do it here. Or if you want to exclude, um, current customers, if you don't want to advertise them, you have to tell them who your current customers are so they don't do that. So if you want to have, to have specific audience controls, you have to advertise in specific locations or they have age restricted goods or service. That's where it's going to ask you to put in those locations and not any Advantage plus campaign that you create in the future, those settings are automatically going to apply. So you don't have to put those settings in. Again, a little bit more simple. Now, if there's any placements that you don't want to advertise to, that's where you would select it. But automatically when we choose this um, Advantage Plus campaign, it's automatically gonna choose it for you. Whereas here in the placements, that's where we can just edit it manually right down here. But you'll see that Advantage Plus placements, again, Advantage Plus, just something else that Facebook recommends is one option. Or if you want manual placements, you do it here without needing to leave a different spot. And then the other main difference is that in my manual setup, we have detailed targeting, we have the genders, we have the age that we wanna select down here and who to target. Typically, I actually don't really even recommend using any detailed targeting, but you actually don't really have those options down here. You don't really have the option to use interest targeting because it actually all remains broad. And then down here on the manual campaign, we still do have detailed targeting. Now, another main difference between the Advantage Plus um, is that inside of the ad set and the campaign settings, we then have these suggested ads and your Advantage Plus catalog ad. So, Facebook really does recommend and they push a lot the catalog ad. Now, if you don't know the difference between catalogs and sets and collections and shops, et cetera, I did make another video on it, so go ahead and check it out. But a catalog is essentially all the products that you have for sale. Facebook knows that people on Facebook like seeing multiple products as part of their options when they're, when they're on Facebook. And I know that even from videos that we create or images, when there's more than one product displayed, it actually performs better typically. So Facebook is recommending that in addition to the regular ads that we create, we can also connect our catalog and they will pull personal ads ad that use media media from the catalog so it'll be like uh kind of like a dynamic ad if you want to consider that or uh, facebook 
uh, like a catalog sales campaign. This is what um, where you kind of selected down here. And they're saying that if you want to create new ads, you can either press this button right here, which essentially all that does is just creates a new ad down here, or you can just quickly duplicate the ad there. So I'm not 100% certain why that option is actually the ad set in the campaign setting. I'm still trying to get a hold of why it's there, but essentially it's just creating ads here and it's telling you that you need to increase variety. So general rule of thumb, at least three to four ads in every campaign that you have is very highly recommended. And that's essentially what it's telling you there to have more variety. Now, when it comes to um, creating new ads here, so now let's go to the actual ad level. And when it comes to actually the settings within the Advantage Plus shopping campaign versus the manual sales campaign, let's just scroll down a little bit. They actually look relatively similar because a lot of the ad settings are still the same. So we have, you know, partnership ads. Um, here they're telling you that it's not available with the Advantage Plus. We have the page identity, so who you want to um, advertise for. Then we have the same type of setup here because in the campaign setting, we did not choose a catalog, which is essentially choosing from all the different products that you have um, either you man manually uploaded or that are connected to your Shopify or your Magento site. I don't have the option here. So I actually do need to create and upload a single image or video or make a carousel manually. Whereas here you have the uh, a manual upload or the catalog because a catalog is kind of something that Facebook is recommending. So again, anything with this little star in it is an advantage plus. It's just like, hey, we recommend this. And it's always recommending that we have a catalog, which is like dynamic ads that you can just swipe through alongside your regular ads. So you have that same option pretty much in this in both campaigns, but we didn't select it originally. Okay, then we have single image or video. We have the multi advertiser ads, which I do recommend turning on. I have seen better results just having it turned on. These are all the same. Add media, your primary text, general rule of thumb. I like to add three different options in here every single time I launch a campaign. Uh, your headlines, again, three different headlines. But we still have the same options down here. Now it looks like I did uh, select a messaging campaign as this setup. It's not, a, not an actual like product sales campaign, but that's okay. I mean, all these buttons actually remain all the same. Um, and at the actual ad level, everything looks the same. So the main differences between Advantage Plus and, and the manual setup is that the Advantage Plus has the campaign and the ad set all in one. Whereas manual setup, we have campaign, then ad set, and then ads. I kind of talked about this, but just to recap, pros and cons here. A Advantage Plus campaign has the ad set and the campaign at the same level. So you can't create new ad sets, which can be a pro, can be a con, maybe it might be more simple, but I find it kind of annoying when I need to maybe um, launch a new test or when I want to have more control over the ad set and I can't within the Advantage Plus. So pro or con, I don't know. I'm still really honestly getting to learn it. I, I do find it a bit of personal preference for beginners. I definitely would recommend it. It seems like it is a better option. And another pro slash con, not sure exactly what it is. The Advantage Plus is a little bit more data hungry. So it can take a little bit longer for it to learn. Of course, it is giving us broad options and really simplifying everything. But once it does get running, it can perform really well. But I've heard and I've kind of documented myself that it can take a little bit longer for it to actually get results. Is that a pro or a con? Not sure. If you don't touch your ads very often, it could be a pro. If you like more control over it, then it might be a con, but it's kind of up to you to decide. But those really are the main differences. And essentially what Advantage Plus means is Facebook recommends it. Now, just because Facebook recommends it doesn't mean you absolutely have to do it. You're gonna reach the same end goal, but in a slightly different way. And it really just comes down to the creative um, and the creative strategy that you're using. Honestly, that's really what Facebook is about these days. It's much less about the actual clickety clickety inside of your ad account, which is why Facebook even recommends the Advantage Plus because there's very little settings and really just focusing your time on the creative, finding different creative strategies, trying different things out, taking big swings, learning who your audience is and then targeting them with your messaging. Now, I have said this in another video before, but I am gonna repeat it the same way that AI like ChatGPT or whatever AI software can read text, understand the sentiment, understand the tonality, who you're targeting in a text block. Or even there's some softwares that know exactly what is happening inside an image or inside a video. Facebook has that same type of 
um, artificial intelligence. They know who you're trying to target, what your messaging is, and who you're talking to just by the creative. So with the Advantage Plus, we're taking away all of the kind of clickety clickety inside of the settings, and they're making you focus more of your time on the actual creative. And that's really what the Advantage Plus is. I encourage you to try out both, maybe make a split test and see what you prefer, which one gets you better results. But those really are the main differences between the two. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. If you're still confused, again, I'm always here to answer your questions, but we also do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to clients who want to learn more about Facebook ads, how to even just maneuver through it, but also scale up their Facebook ads, as well as a done for you service for, you know, anyone who wants to actually just hand off that task completely to an experienced marketer like us. So if that, it does interest you, check out the description box below. There'll be a link for you to get in touch with us. And uh, that's all for today's video. And I will see you in the next one.